God bless everybody. Hallelujah. I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a minute since I've been on this thing. I'm not going to stay on here long. Hallelujah. I'm just checking in. Checking in with everybody. Making sure everybody's okay. Excuse me. I'm all in the camera here. Uh-huh. I'm looking at this thing. The enemy try he trying it, y'all. He trying it, but I ain't going to let him do it. I ain't going to let him have it. Hallelujah. I'm going to have this victory. I'm going to take this victory. Be victorious in this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. Glory to God. Let me see if I got the right stuff here. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Huh? Shall be glad in it. We shall be glad in it no matter what the enemy throw at you. No matter what the day throws at you. It still belongs to the Lord and it's still glorious enough to be hallelujah glad in it. Hallelujah. And rejoicing in it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Didn't be trying to take your joy, but you got to rejoy. That means power up on joy. When you have to rejoy, that means power up on it. Rejoice on it. Hallelujah. To re, re is to do something over again. Restore. Glory to God. Restore our joy, Father God. In the name of Jesus, when enemy try to steal our joy, God, restore so we can rejoice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Reconcile us back to joy. Glory to God. Through the ministry of reconciliation through Christ Jesus. That's what I know. That's what I hear in my spirit, y'all. Hallelujah. Ha! Huh. I feel I feel God's power right now. Glory to God. I feel God's power right now. So I thank God for everything He's doing. Even, even, even when delays come, God orchestrates those too. Uh-huh. God orchestrates them. Hallelujah. You want to see how you respond to them. I thank God. Glory to God. Some delays do come from God. Come on. Some of them do come from God. Some of them are protections too. Some, some delays are protection. You have to have the Holy Spirit to know which one, which one is which. What, which one is coming from the enemy or which one is coming from God. Glory be to God. And I thank God. Because he works everything. All things work for our good. Right? He's working all things for our good to those that love him and are called according to his purpose. Glory to God. Not our purposes. Not what we want done. But his purpose for our life. So he works all that stuff out. All the little things that try to get you off kilter, try to frustrate you, try to throw you off. He, he works all of those things so for your good because there's a purpose in, attached to it. And it's his for our lives, right? So that's how you have to, that's how I have to look at it. I'm starting to just like, you know what, God, whatever you want to do. Because sometimes you, be, you get so worked up, you're so used to doing stuff your way and want to do it your way and your time, whatever. All it does is when you when you walking in God and you want to do stuff according to his purpose, all you're doing is frustrating it, frustrating yourself when you want to do it your way, outside of God's will. You just frustrating yourself, so you might as well just hallelujah. Sit down somewhere. Slow down on God. Let him do it. Hallelujah. According to his purpose for your life. And that's what I had to learn. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's called maturing in God. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He might be protecting you from something down the line. You don't even know. Glory be to God. I pray everybody's doing well. Just want to drop by and say that. And just check in because it's been a minute. Hallelujah. It's been a minute since I've been on here. So I praise the Lord. I get some stuff done to my to the uh, trailer. My tires uh, 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 and mud flap is is not uh, uh, working too well on this trailer, so. But anyway, God is good. I thank him. I thank him for all the wonderful things he's doing in my life and the things that he's doing in me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for all that he's doing. Hallelujah. And I pray that encourages someone. Thank God for what he's doing in your life. It may not look like what you want it to be. Hallelujah. I know my life, though. It don't look like I, Hallelujah. How I want it to look. But guess what? I trust God. I believe God. Above all. Hallelujah. Six years ago, I didn't I wasn't thinking about being a truck driver. Six years ago, I wasn't thinking about this. Glory to God. I wasn't thinking about none of this. But 
you have, I have to follow the will of the Father. So I'm just going to do it all in all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to do all, you know, according to his purpose, according to his will for my life. And like Jesus said, not my will, Father God. No, not my will, but your will be done. That's how, that's how I have to look at it right now. Because I'm telling you, when you want your will and God is like, no, nah, that ain't the will. That is not the way I want you to go. You not doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing but frustrating myself. Hallelujah. And I found out some things I care, I care too much about. That's another thing. We got to find some things we care too much about. Hallelujah. It's not saying that you 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 negate or take away from how you what you care about, but it's it's it's, it's if it's if it's if it's too much stress involved in it, if it's too if you care about something so much and you and you notice that like everybody else is like, well, whatever. And, and, it's, it's, and it's, it's working you up and it's not necessarily worry because I don't, I, don't, I don't prescribe to that. I don't prescribe to worrying. But if it's working you up to the place where you're like, you're looking around like, no, nah, it, it ain't even worth it sometimes to care so much until it's, it's doing you harm. And I'm not talking about worry and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not talking about anxiety, but to a place where you're just like, you're just doing too much. You're just trying to do it too much. And it's like, Nah, bro, it's not even it's not even worth it because you want your you want your spirit and your your soul, you want your wholeness, you want it to align with Holy Spirit. And when you when you give because because then then when you care too much, it can also go into idolatry, right? Not saying caring is bad. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you care to the point where it's oh it's it's up above and beyond over God. You care about a certain thing before more than you care about God or how you how your hallelujah how you please God. That ain't that's not that's not how that's gonna work. It's not gonna work like that because then you're gonna I personally I know I I would be frustrated. Yep. And it, and it's been I, I've been doing that for years. That's nothing that's nothing new. Caring about certain things, caring about even people to a certain extent, even though you're to care for them, but to the point where you care and then they it's like. They're abusing you in that, you know? So, and, and even in your job, you care so much until your surroundings abuse you in that, knowing that you care about it, knowing that you you, 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 luck, you like what you do. Maybe even love it. You may even love what you do. So you care about it, right? But when that love and that care becomes idolatry before God, before God mm -mm, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Nope. It's not. And I had I had to personally learn that. I had to I, first of all I had to recognize it. I'm like, why am I always worked up over something? And these people they already got their billions. <laughs> these people already they already made money. They got their federal seal for billionaire and all. And I'm sitting up here <laughs> barely a hundred air. And I'm and these people been been billionaires and will be billionaires for, for probably forever. And I'm over here work more worked up over they stuff than I am for the things of the kingdom of God. No, that ain't gonna work. But see, that's something I had to learn. I had to mature into that and mature out of that. No, I'm not doing that to myself no more. I'm not. Nope. Mm -mm. These people already got they they family and all this other kind of stuff straight. And here I am, worked up over something up. No, no. I'm not saying don't care about what you do. I'm not saying that you know, don't um, be thankful. You know, I'm definitely thankful, grateful. I bless. I bless the Lord. I'm so grateful. But don't do it to where it's above and beyond God. Don't do it to where it's above and beyond the kingdom. I'm not doing that to myself anymore. And it's because I know what it is. It's because I, I used to play sports when I was younger, and in sports it teaches you have to have a, like a a strong will, a strong desire, strong zeal to get things done and do it in a certain way, a certain order, a certain discipline attached to it. Uh, some people will call it diligence, but for me it was overboard. <laughs> Nothing wrong with diligence. I love diligence. I love doing things. In to, to my ability in decency and in order and diligence attached. But no, no, I'm not doing it to myself no, no more, y'all. 
God is too good. He's too good for us to get all, for me personally, I'm going to just say me, to get all worked up over stuff that Like I said, these people are billionaires already. <laughs> if they got on the sword over tens, I'm not gonna say tens of thousands. <laughs> but no, I'm just I'm just messing around. But yeah. Mm -mm. No. And that ain't nothing but father. That ain't nothing but father doing that in my life. Because there's a peace that surpasses all understanding when we follow Christ Jesus. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace that overtakes anything, any peace that the world can give. Right? That God has that peace for us. And so, so when you when you're doing stuff that that makes your peace in balance, it's not worth it. I want the peace of Jesus Christ. I want the peace that He has for me. When He told that storm on the, in the middle of the uh, uh, sea. To peace be still, that's the kind of peace I want. And that's the kind of peace I'm going after. No. Mm -mm. And I so I, I know it's like, because because for real, in the past, I would get all worked up and all. Rah, 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 rah. And so now I see when certain things happen, right? There's people start look, they looking at me to see if I'm a, if I'm going to get all worked up, see if I'm going to get all crazy. Not even. What's up? I'm done. That was it. That's I'm done with that. Let's see. I'm gonna add that extra little 30 minutes onto my uh previous. I've been here, let me see. Going on two hours in this one spot. So I'm gonna add that right there to my delay over here. Glory to God. I thank God. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. Guys, you have a great day. I'm gonna I'm get off of here so I can get down this road a little bit more. Pray for me. I thank God for all those that see these video, these my videos and intercede for me. Because I I know, I feel when people intercede for me. And I thank you guys so much. I thank you for thinking about me. I thank you for that. I really do. And so, guys, you have a great day. Be blessed. Like I said, I'm going to get down this road safely. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Yeah. God is so good, y'all. Take care, y'all. Bye.